Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, you'll have to excuse the background noise. I got fans running behind me. I got water pumps running and I got a 3D printer printing neck cups up for another project I'm working on. So uh, the purpose of this video is to simplify the use of nutrients and show you how I make up my concentrate from a dry mix. Which in this video I'm using Master Blend Dry Mix. That's pretty much all I use. Uh, the bags are labeled with instructions for a one gallon mix or a five gallons, which is accurate, but it's a real pain if you got to make up some odd amount like 13 gallons or something. So what you'll need is the Master Blend mixes. I buy mine on Amazon. They ship out of a place in Utah, I believe. I'm here in Washington. It takes a couple days to get them here. Um, a gram scale also on Amazon. I'll put a link down below. That's about 10 or 20 bucks for the scale and two quart size mason jars. This is the Master Blend 41838 mix. The bag states tomato and vegetable formula. I've used it successfully on tomatoes, lettuce, peppers, and cannabis. I adjust the EC level to the plant when mixing the concentrate into the water, which I'll explain further at the end of this video. We mix 180 grams of this blend into a quart of water. Uh, just a heads up, it dissolves faster in warm water, so I suggest starting with like room temperature water. If it's straight out of the tap, it takes a while to dissolve it all. So this is plain old Epsom salt. It goes in the same jar as the 41838 after the 41838 is dissolved and all mixed up. Uh, we use 90 grams of it in a quart. So this is the 15.5-0-0 nitrogen. It's just strictly nitrogen. There's nothing else added to it. It goes in its own separate quart jar and we add 180 grams of it in one quart of water. So this is pouring the 41838 mix in. You'll want to leave a little bit of room because you remember you're going to add 90 grams of Epsom salt after this is dissolved. So this is just pouring the Epsom salts in and then you top it off with water and shake it up until it's dissolved. And this is the nitrogen going in. It's the same as the others. Just shake it up, then top it off with water and shake it until it's dissolved. So this is the part A mix once it's mixed up and it, I've got an empty cup there showing what went into that jar. And this is the part B once it's all mixed up. So I found that these 60cc syringes are the easiest way to measure how much concentrate I'm using. You can find these at the local farm supply store, uh, Amazon. Uh, smaller ones will work, but they won't reach the bottom of the mason jars where these ones get just to the bottom. This is the bag that I store everything in. It's a handy little wine bottle bag. We got a Whole Foods. We're not wine drinkers, but it works great for bottled water too. And it turns out it holds quart jars perfectly and keeps the light off of them. So nothing grows in your concentrate mix. So this is a little cheat sheet that I made up in Excel of how much goes in each jar and also how much to use to get to an EC of 2.0. So I made it for myself so I wouldn't forget, and I also made it so my wife and daughter could help me out, and if I'm not around, they can mix up water to top up things off if I need to when I'm not home. So for 10 gallons, I'd use approximately 133 cc's, cc's from each jar. Uh, if I'm making up water for lettuce, I'd cut this in half and use approximately 65 cc's for 10 gallons. Uh, I found this works well for top of water off. Sometimes a bucket only needs three gallons or a tote of water needs 15 gallons. I'll measure the EC before adding any. And if the EC is too high, I'll add plain water to get it up to where my target EC for that particular plant is at. Then I look how much more I need to top off and then I'll add the corresponding amount of concentrates.
So I hope this simplifies things for you. It seems confusing at first, but in the long run, it's much simpler than mixing it up in five gallon batches at a time like I was doing before. So if you like what I've done so far and you want to see more, uh, click the like button, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button. I've got a whole bunch of other ideas that I'm in the process of gathering things together and do some more videos. So thanks for watching.